three on it. What's the deal? It's your folks, Shaka, Darwin Philosopher. Wanted to share my thoughts with y'all real quick. So yeah, I came up on this story here explaining Jay-Z and Beyonce's breakup situation. And basically the story uh, speaks on how Jay-Z, when Beyonce was deciding to leave him, he broke down and he was crying and he begged his wife to give him one more chance uh, to confront his childhood traumas and things like that, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I wanted to speak on that today, you know, because also I tell you a lot about the R&B lover. And I'm going to make a specific video about that. You know what I'm saying? Because the R&B, the R&B lover is uh, a couple of unhealthy things, a couple of unhealthy uh, examples for men. But one of the things that the R&B lover does is he uh, oftentimes is emasculating himself to get back in favor of the woman. And that's exactly what Jay-Z is doing here. You know, brothers, never emasculate yourself to get back with the woman. She does not respect that. If you mess up and you want to get back right with your woman, you need to go about it in a masculine way. You need to be a man about it. Okay, but never emasculate yourself. And when you get to the point where you're begging a woman and you're uh, uh, doing the woman's version of Biggie, give me one more chance. I promise I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that. You're setting yourself up for failure and you're setting that woman up for failure. And whatever situation y'all have, you're setting it up for failure. You know, the truth of the matter is you gotta be the type of person that understands when to kind of cut ties, whether permanently or temporarily, whether she messes up or you mess up. You know, because sometimes the woman will still be willing and ready to make it happen. But as a man, you gotta understand what you can and you cannot do in that situation and why it triggered you to do what you did in the first place. And oftentimes you cannot do that <laughs> being back with the woman, you know what I'm saying, after you violate in such a way. You know, for example, Jay-Z, when he talks about his childhood trauma, these are things that you must address as a man before you find yourself looking for a woman. You understand that? You don't, you don't work on these things while you're with a woman and things like that. And when you get back with the woman, she has to monitor to you like she's your mother, okay? Because that's heavily promoted, y'all, in our community, that mother-child relationship, okay? It is one of the number one destroyers of so-called relationships between black men and black women. But that's what pretty much happens, all right? And so, and then on top of that, because you emasculated yourself by begging the woman and pleading with the woman, she's not going to respect you as a man. And why? Because you didn't go about it as a man, all right? You know, again, if you mess up with a woman, you know what I'm saying? And ultimately she gets rid of you, that's typically what happens. But even if that don't happen, you need to, okay, make the right decision on how you go about getting back right with that woman, okay? Not in favor, but getting back right with that woman, okay, by way of being a man about it, okay? And that oftentimes require you to just kind of go your own separate ways and work on yourself and hey if that situation presents itself down the line you know you kind of see what's up but I just wanted to go ahead and speak on that y'all because this is a very common thing and you know there are oftentimes men who say they do these things and then they can't figure out why after that they're like always walking on eggshells and they're always walking on thin ice. And I'm gonna report on a couple of brothers who, who went through this, you know what I'm saying? And some, and some relationship situations as well. 
So, but go ahead and comment below, y'all. Like or dislike, but definitely hit that uh, sub button and that bell. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to drop something that you're going to like, all right? This your folks, Shaka, Durham Philosopher. I'm out. It's 300.